Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Knowledge24. In our previous lecture, we mentioned that we have three types of programming statement, sequential, selection and iterative. The first two, selection and sequential, is discussed in the previous lecture. Now, in today's lecture, we will learn about iterative statement. Basically, iterative means repeat the same set of tasks again and again until the condition is fulfilled. So, the iterative statement is also called repetitive statement or looping statement. Python provides two types of repetitive statement. The first one is for looping statement, then second is while loop. So, let's start with the for loop. For loop is a counting loop that repeat the set of statement a certain number of time. The syntax for for loop is this for variable name then in then sequence. Here sequence means how many times the loop will be repeated. Then sequence can be a string, list or tuple. And if we have small number of elements, then we can write the list directly in the for loop in square bracket. But if we have large number of data in a list, then we can use range function. Range function is used to generate a list. For example, if we have three values, then we will use simply as 4 a in in a square bracket 1 comma 2 comma 3. So these are the three values. But suppose we have 2 to 10 values, then we will use range function. The syntax of range function is in bracket we use lower limit, then comma, upper limit, then comma, step value. And remember that all values should be integer. So if we have 2 to 10 values then we will simply write for a in range 1 comma 11 comma 1. By default the step value is plus 1. Then second looping statement is while loop and while loop is a conditional loop which repeat the statement until the condition is true. When the condition is false, then it will passes to line after the body of the loop. This is the syntax of while loop. While, then logical expression or conditional expression, then column, then body of the loop, which have to repeat again and again. In the while loop, we have mainly four elements. The first one is the initialization element like n equal to 0 or any, as, any value assigned to the variable. Then second is the test expression in which we will use while loop and then logical expression. Then the third one is the body part and then fourth is the update expression means the step value. So we can use both statement for loop and while loop in any program in which we have to repeat the statements again and again. Let's see the demonstration of for loop and while loop and the program is sum of first 10 natural numbers. Sum equal to 0 then we use for loop for 10 numbers 1 to 11. So it will continue till the 10 values. Then we use sum plus equal to n means when the condition is true then it will repeat again and again this statement. After that when the condition is false then it will print the sum of first 10 natural number is sum. Then we execute this then the result will be sum of first 10 natural number is 55. Now same program is written using the while loop. So in this the first step is initialization. So we initialize sum equal to 0 and n equal to 1. Then we use logical expression while n is less than 11. Then 
the body of the loop will be executed this one is sum plus equal to n and then we use the update the expression here the value of n is incremented by 1 so we will write n equal to n plus 1 and when the condition is false then it will print the sum of first n natural number is comma sum then we execute it and the result will be the sum of first n natural number is 55 so these are the programs related to for loop and while loop thank you